DJ J. Erica, exclusive, life of a DJ, coast to coast R&B, beef in this California, stand up. This is like my first um, interview, like with someone interviewing me, so it was just really cool to go to the radio station here in Buffalo and to be able to have somebody else pick my brain because I'm always picking somebody else's brain. It was the first time, you know, me, Jamal, and uh, j Real actually came together, all three of us, and it was my first interview where people were asking me questions instead of me asking them questions, so it was really cool. Yeah, it's me, the one only DJ J. Erica. I am here at 91.3 WBNY here at Buff State. Get a little love and support doing an interview. Got my homie Jamal Gasol here, Daryl Hawks on camera, and J. Rail talking on the microphone. So, you know, yeah, that's it. My name is DJ J. Erica. I am a DJ. I am an entrepreneur. I am a media mogul. And this is my life. My life. My life. My life. As a DJ. I actually got asked by j Rail to come and uh, do an interview and talk about, you know, what it's like to be me. But, you know, during my interview, I came here to promote my new mixtape that I'm going to be releasing during the spring. Um, my life as a DJ. Um, and trying to open doors for new music artists and also, you know, trying to push and tell people to download and buy my brand new app from my website, DJTakeOver.com. Tell about yourself. Well, I'm me. Um, anybody that know me, you know, DJ J. Erica, you know, did online radio, uh, Hawk Radio, Cops Radio at Hilbert College for about the past year and a half, and I've interviewed a lot of people from this area. Um, you know, I'm just trying to be like a media entrepreneur, I guess you could say. Started a website, working on the app, working with Jamal Gasol, just trying to, you know, you know, give uh, music artists that deserve the chance and opportunity to gain exposure and use my connections to help to connect them into the music industry the right way. Um, Cause I genuinely care. <laughs> now you you also interned at WBLK as well, right? Yes, indeed, I did. How I was interned. that experience for you? It was amazing. Like people at WBLK, thank you. They they taught me everything I know. But I can't say they taught me everything I know. But everything I didn't know, they taught me. So I know now. Oh uh, yeah, I mean I've been doing this, I've been doing the radio thing before I entered that BLK, then I went to BLK and I seen like the, the more of the business aspect of it and like doing all these parties and concerts and all that, I'm like, oh. You know, it made me respect the DJs even more because yeah. like I did that for like, you know, the first year I was doing radio, then I had the internship after the first year, so like I just, you know, I learned about the business more and the business aspect of it and understanding why why DJs do certain things, why is it hard for certain music artists to get play and understanding the business gist of it and having to pay for spots and commercials and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> so um you do a lot of promoting yourself as well. Yes, yes, yes. A um, lot of people you can just call me Miss Tag because I tag everybody and everything yeah, I do. Yeah, you tag okay. me a lot. Man. You tag me <laughs> okay. a lot. Listen, it's grind. This is a grind. You got to hustle. You got to do what you need to do where you need to go. And, um, you know, I'm always working on something. Like, I'm never, I'm never asleep. Like, I was writing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always editing something. I always got something I need to get done. Um... Yeah, you came in. You life. did. You did come in here looking a little sleepy. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a woke now, though. I'm a woke. <laughs> it's a little warm in here too, so that yeah. might, you know, that might make your sleep, you know, a little bit more forthcoming yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, after a while, you don't sleep too good, and because you're excited about going to the next level in your life, and it just becomes the norm, you mm -hmm. know. Now you graduated, right? Yeah, graduated. Finally, you see graduated. Yes. Congratulations. Bachelor's Arts. You know, God has been good. Honestly, I can say 2013 has been good, and the beginning of 2014 has just been amazing. Like, in 2013, I met this guy in January. Jamal and like, Gasol, we just, right? Yeah, Jamal Gasol. And we just, like, linked up, and everything from our careers has been... I feel like we're both, like, good luck charms for each other, because both of our careers have slowly, you know, increased, and, and, you know, we gained our popularity, and through our work together, we just growing, you know? Now, what stuff you got going on for you? You got the app coming. You got the app going. The app is out right now. Um, it's at Google Play Store. For most of you guys that don't know, I do have a website called DJTakeOver.com. Now, it's a celebrity blog site, but it's for independent music artists. The main focus is independent music artists. My videos that I do, you know, I have with John Boy, Mickey Moscato, all that stuff. I'm getting tired of tagging everybody. So, I thought, why not put everything into one app? 
so you can get up to date with everything that's going on in your city, what music artists are out, and even even have a top ten chart, video chart type of thing going on here. No, it's so funny that you mentioned tagging because I get tagged for everything from everybody. <laughs> You yeah. don't understand. That's why I made two Facebook profiles for myself. I got the one for the radio, so that way everyone can tag me and do whatever they want to do. You know, take pictures of me and all that. And then I got my my personal one where I don't get tagged so much. It's a little bit more of a relief for me. And um, yeah, you the main one who be tagging me a lot. Yeah, because like it's always <laughs> something going on. You know, like with me, I'm trying to promote and keep everybody up to date on what's going on right now. What I'm trying to do is promote this app. You download the app. I'm not tagging you no more, okay? Because now you can get the up-to-date status of all your favorite artists and everything else and try to take it international. This app is more than just 716. This thing is like for people in the California area, collaborations that I've worked with people with, and it's basically giving you guys the opportunity to network and, and move over into the next realm of your career, fan base-wise. Because even if you're not signed, I guess like, people say it's hard to get known, but it's really not hard to get known if you know the right people. You know, you got to put yourself out there. So what I'm trying to do is make an easy way for artists to be out there without having to go through the struggles of the regular industry, the mainstream industry. Now, uh, what's what's new for you since you graduated and all that? You got the app out. Uh, so much stuff. You got, you working on the mixtape now? Yeah, mixtape. That's what we got to get to. All right, so I got a mixtape coming out, and this is the public service announcement for all um, you know, artists out in the 716 area. R&B. Now, I'm doing a mixtape called Life of a DJ. DJ J. Erica presents Life of the DJ R&B. Um, coast to coast R&B. And the reason why I decided to make this mixtape is because I feel like it's long overdue. People been inviting me, yo, when are you going to start making mixtape series? Um, so I decided to do the mixtape series. But, you know, I'm still looking for it. the R&B artists out there. Please, please, please. Um... Send me your music and try to get you a slot because we're going to go international with it. The first track I'm going to be playing tonight um, is from a California group named Beef. It's not actually R&B, but it's hip-hop, but it's over like a classic R&B track. So I felt like it just coincides perfectly with my thought process of how music was and how it's, you know, I guess coming back to what it originated to be. Um, how many artists you got on it so far? Right now I have about six people on it. Now, um, it's 14 slots. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and that's, that's before my voiceover, so it's going to end up being 16 slots. But, um, I'm looking for R&B singers, people that sing, you guys, you know what I mean, that really need the help, because hip-hop is getting pushed so much, and they got more help than what a singer does, and a lot of times singers be like, oh, I sing, but, you know, you don't really hear them getting played, you know? So, what I'm trying to do is help them out with that. Alright, now, um, um... How has like, how has this you know helped you as far as you know making like your name known? The mixtape. You know? Yeah. Oh, the mixtape. I mean, I'm not dropping it until spring. I feel like my name. I wanted to build my name up before I got to the mixtape because I didn't want to create a project I know would not go anywhere. So. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure, like, for over the past year and a half, just building my name as a person, getting to know people, meeting people. So, like, when it comes out, we have that audience, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what I've been building towards, is building the audience. I finally built that audience, now I'm ready to do the music. So, it's going to be cool. All right. Anything else you want to add? Um, I know you got to give people your, your contact, right? Of course, of course, my contact. Of course, everything is at DJJ Erica. You find me on Facebook, DJJ Erica, Twitter, DJJ Erica, Instagram, DJJ Erica. And my Instagram is private, so, you know, you got to, you know, send me a request and then I'll let you go through. But, yeah. Um, all my videos, my website, DJTakeOver.com. Number one website for independent music artists. Number one website. I say it's the number one website because you're getting everything you need. You're getting not only local, but out of town. And that app, you need to download that app to your phone. It's a Google Play Store. It's a DJ Takeover app. Because we're taking over. And we're taking Jamal Gasol Main Street. It's going to be like 50 yeah. Cent or something. And we're going to take the other person from California and put them up. You know, so it's just like, bam. Combine the powers. Excited. Yeah. I'm kind of mad right now because I'm getting kind of hungry a little bit. And Jamal Gasol came in here with the Lenovo's pizza. I know, <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm hungry, the cafeteria here. here is closed now. So I'm getting really hungry. And so I just want to say oh, that... Really? 
I want to say that um, if you want to grab yourself something to eat, also got to extend um, this out too. If you want to get yourself something good to eat, make sure you go check out Mike's Steakhouse on Bailey Avenue. Place, good place to eat. Good man running it as well, so make sure you get yourself some food. Shout out to everyone down there at Mike's Steakhouse as well. Rapper's Delight just came on. So we're going to get into some more music right now here on WBNY. One Got nice some. When you come back, I want to just say so one more thing after the break. Oh, go ahead. Oh. First of all, I want to say shout out to everybody that's been out there supporting me. I got a few artists that I know that's going to be on the roster. We got Demogasol, we got Arius, uh, Savai. Those are our two new artists that we're going to be adding on to my music roster. Y'all want to know anything else about everything else I'm doing, hit me up on Facebook. I'm trying to find the dopest artists out there to get promotion on this app. Get your place right now. We're doing mixtapes, reviews, and all that stuff. So you want your slot, hit me up. All right, hit her up. It's JRail91.3 FM, WBNY. My name is DJ J. Erica. I am a DJ, I am an entrepreneur, I am a media mogul, and this is my life, my life, my life, my life as a DJ.